just up here on the catwalk right now. We're about to rig this flat. Just there. We're gonna pull it up here. What is up guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm just up here in the rigging at the theatre. We had to lift up a flat and tie it down. Just putting some extra reinforcements on it so it doesn't snap. Because if it snaps, then it'll break. We don't want to have to put it up in two separate pieces. I like love you, love you. If I may. I like to love you, love you. Right now we're heading back downstairs because we've got to put both scaffolds up on either side of the stage. We're now four days out from opening night. As you can see behind me, people are rigging sets, costumes are being made. Right now we've got to put our scaffold here and over there as well. Let me give you a quick tour of the theatre. This is where the orchestra will be. This is obviously where the audience will sit. Tower 1, Tower 2, Scaffold 1, Scaffold 2. A random flat that I'm not sure what's happening with. The clock, back Tower 1, another tower. Mover 1, Mover 2, Mover 3, Mover 4, Mover 5. There are just so many movers I'm not even going to tell you how many there are. 14! There are 14? 14. Quick change of plans, Dad and I are now going to pick up some paint from Solver for the set as we need to paint some flats, spray paint a few ropes that are holding the clock. It's rocking up at Solver right now. We need to get some paint for the dragon because that will be in the front of house section of the stage. So we'll kind of hang over the audience. What paint are you getting? Fluorescent green. Fluorescent green because we need to paint the Oz head and the green flats which are going to go towards the back of the stage. Got everything at Solver that we need to, now back to the theatre. What's a vlog? It, it's a vlog. Yeah, it's a vlog. This is a vlog. But... It's a vlog, like a video blog. Oh. Peter, are you looking forward to opening night as Elphaba? Absolutely. Well, yeah. We need to talk. Why do we need to talk? How do you feel that Peter's taken over your role? You've well, been... I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I've seen him rehearse and he's just... He's incredible, isn't he's he? He's incredible. I could not imagine anyone else doing the role. Actually, I, I'm honestly. Like, oh, gosh. Did you know he was really depressed when he didn't get the role oh. and you beat him to it? Well, I... I can see he cried. He cried himself to sleep for like four I'm, nights in a I'm row. I'm not surprised because he was born for this role. He was actual. Well, look at him in the spotlight out there. Yeah, he's, he's so destined to play the role. Look at him. We found our understudy. I tell you what. Yeah. You know, maybe we should swap roles. You can do sound, and I'll just. I'm all for that. that sounds great. Peter, let's hear the top note. Come on. Oh, I think I need the orchestra backing for that. On your opinion, what do you think of our new star, Peter as Elphaba? Fabulous! What's your opinion of Peter um, being Elphaba? I think it's an interesting choice, Did but you I think it's going to make it work. I think it'll be alright, actually. God, I think Amy's... Adds a new take, new dimension. I think we've just been kicked out by the <laughs> stage manager. Quick update right now, as you can see just here, the low fogger is being put in. It's a device that spreads smoke across the whole entire stage, and it looks like a low fog. That's why it's called the low fog machine. So that's going in. We've also done these scaffolds over here we'll put these things on they look really good and we've also done it on the other side as well as you can see right here all right pete how's it going yeah not bad thanks <laughs> that was greg's gonna be all the way back if we just turn up and have a look he's at the desk just on the right hand side so today has gone fairly well you know we're about four to six hours behind but you know that's part of the challenges of working backstage in theatre and creating such a big show which is wicked over here you can see that we've got the lovely bridge being in progress lovely clock and some arches hung which has been beautiful um, we've got um, moving scenery over here, some lots of lights in the roof, it's absolutely fabulous. Scaffold towers, so that we're going to see them used in the show. And I'm not going to give you any more uh, promotional talk in, in regards to set. Now, let's come over here, we're going to ask Greg a few questions. Oh, he's, he's, he's on the run. Let's go get him. Awesome. So, Gre <laughs> this, hi everyone, this is Greg. Uh, hi Pete. Nice to see you mate. Good to so, see you. How's it all going? 
Yeah, not too bad. A few challenges. Um, yeah. Probably one of the biggest moving light shows we've had here, so it's taken yeah. a bit of uh, configuring and getting that all working, yeah. but how, it's coming along. How many movers? We've got 14 profile uh, spot movers in this show, so yeah, nice. something a bit different. Yeah, Looking forward to Tech Run? I am looking forward to it. Yes. It'll be a challenge, but yeah. uh, hoping it's going to be a good show. Now, I wonder if Tim DeJong, our wonderful musical director, is around. Oh, speaking of Tim, look at that right on camera. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim DeJong, musical director. He's also a master set builder. Uh, is, is that how you feel about the show at the moment? It's got no battery. No, no battery. Which is very He's similar on... to how I am. Greg, how's it been working with Peter? Oh, it's a nightmare, I tell you. <laughs> Thanks very much, right? We go a long way back. It's probably a bit too long, though. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Going to be doing daily uploads for the next week while Wicked's on. If you're interested in coming to see the show, the link to book tickets will be down in the description. It's going to be really great. So if you can't come along and see it, you'll really enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one.